My name's John Quinn. I'm from Brisbane, Queensland. I'm 67 years old. Um, I'm a strong advocate for living well with dementia. And I'm here at the uh, Hemant Care International Conference to present on dementia and travel and also dementia and masculinity. At the age of 57, I was forced to lose, leave work because these particular challenges were having more of an impact on my ability to perform as a school principal. I was 59 and I was eventually diagnosed with young, younger onset dementia, Alzheimer's disease of the familial type. Now my initial reaction to my diagnosis was one of relief, believe it or not. I was relieved that the things that I was experiencing were real, they were actually happening to me. However, not long after that, my feeling of relief became feelings of despair, hopelessness, and a deep sense of feeling alone. Now, I remained in that state for about four years after my diagnosis. Our sense of identity is often derived from what we do in life, our job, whether it be paid or unpaid work. So when I was forced to leave work at the age of 59 because of my diagnosis, I felt a lesser person. I felt as if I could no longer provide for my family. I, I developed a, a, a motto or a saying, and it goes like this. Having a diagnosis of dementia is not a lifestyle choice. However, now that I have dementia, I can choose my lifestyle and I choose to, well, to live well with dementia. As part of my mission or, or quest to live well with dementia, being an educator, I couldn't help myself and I developed an acronym to remind me of the sorts of things that I could do on a daily basis to live well with dementia. And it's called NAMES, N-A-M-E-S. N for nutrition, and I've also included hydration into that. A for attitude and acceptance. Until a person accepts the fact they've got a certain medical condition, they can't move on. M for mental activities. I do crossword puzzles. I learn Spanish as a second language. I write and I read. M for meditation and music. E for exercise. I'm into cycling, running, swimming. I do Pilates on a weekly basis. E for enjoyment. I've spoken about the fact that I enjoy traveling. I also enjoy going to the movies. I enjoy going out for coffee with my friends. And finally, S. S is for social engagement. Very important for people with dementia to, to continue to be socially engaged. Support, I would not be able to do what I do at the moment without the support from my partner, Glennis, my friends and other family members. Setting goals, even though I've got dementia and it's a terminal degenerative condition, I still set myself some short, long -term, uh, medium and long-term goals. Uh, the other S is for sleep. Um, most Australians don't get enough sleep. Um, the latest research indicates that you should get between seven and eight hours. What's my names? What's your names? Don't wait until you've got a diagnosis of any medical condition before you start thinking about your names.